What's happening, amigos? So I've been requested by one of my loyal subscribers to do um, some videos on Think and Grow Rich, which is a it's a goat goat one of the goat books of all time in terms of the self improvement personal development niche. To be honest, I like the word self improvement. I, I like something a bit more like you know like self domination or you know psychological warfare. It's, it's not improvement. It's not soft. It's this is real shit. Okay, basically, what I want to talk about today is the concept that was um, brought up in this book, Thinking of a Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's this idea of the mastermind, right? And a mastermind is, uh, this is a classical, classical concept, which I don't think I've talked about. A mastermind is basically a kind of like a group of people that are aligned in the same frequency, that are going in the same direction. And so it's a kind of like maybe like a council meeting you get a group of guys or girls people that are on the same path as you right so for me my mastermind might be some other youtubers some other people that are concerned with personal development and you know financial freedom and stuff like that you get these people and you meet up every now and then so maybe once a month or once every two weeks once every six months and you mastermind, you discuss ideas, you talk about what's worked, you become accountable with each other, right? That's the mastermind group. And the good thing about these groups is that there tends to be some sort of um, synergistic effect that happens where the collective is greater than the sum of the individual parts. That's what happens to the mastermind. Um, Napoleon Hill talks about how you create or you draw from this um, actual mind that's called the mastermind. So kind of like this infinite intelligence, something magical happens. Now, you have to believe in all that um, mysticism, but just know that for a fact, when you get more than one person all aligned in the same direction, some magic is going to happen. And the mastermind is essential because what happens is sometimes we get complacent in life. We have certain friends that we've grown up with that might not be going the same direction as us, but we feel um, indebted to them because we've grown up with these guys. We've grown up with them. But the problem is, like what Jim Rohn says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most time with, right? You're the average of the people you tend to associate with. So if your friends are losers, if your friends aren't going places, if they're not overly dedicated with self-improvement, what's going to happen is naturally you're going to be pulled in by their gravitational pull in the same way that if an asteroid goes past Earth, it's going to be pulled in to our orbit and smash into Earth, right? You're going to be pulled in. And the more friends you have like that, the stronger the pull. So the mastermind is kind of a way to counteract that. You can still hang out with your friends, but when it's time for business, you have a collection of people that are going in the same direction, that have this pool of their own, that are going to keep you accountable. And that's so essential because you have to understand, success, you can't do this by yourself. It's not a thing you do by yourself. You need to stand on the shoulders of giants, right? You need these people in your life that can give you wise counsel. The game hasn't changed. It's exactly the same as it was when Napoleon Hill wrote this book. Don't be fooled by the technology, by all these flashy things we have these days. The principles are still the same. The mastermind group is essential. So yeah, that's the first uh, thing I want to talk about in Think and Go Rich. I'm going to have some more videos on that because that's a good book. Um, I might put a cheeky little affiliate link in the description. I might not. I actually am pretty lazy with these type of things to forget about them. But yeah, guys, that's the video. Until next time. Peace. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Um, would you mind clicking the post notifications if you do subscribe? Because if you don't, you won't see the videos in your news feed, which is pointless. But YouTube does, YouTube's gonna YouTube, all right? And yeah, peace.